Yes, uh, I'm going now. So, namaste everyone. Myself, I'm Devi Chakka from New Jersey, USA. I introduced meditation in 2002 through my mom. Uh, uh, can you please mute uh, Suresh Pabagaru? Okay, thank you. Myself, I'm Devi Chakka from New Jersey, USA. And I introduced it to meditation in 2002 at my ninth grade through my mom. So I started practicing meditation from that day till now it is 18 years of journey. It's an amazing journey. I transformed a lot. I learned a lot. I experienced a lot. So I really understand what life is and how to live. Basically, I'm very angry uh, <laughs> personality uh, in my childhood, but I, un I, I, I realize a lot of change within me in my meditation journey. My all anger got healed. I become very calm person and uh, I'm very friendly. Change is there. So today I want to share one of the um, topic. I'm a meditation teacher and I'm conscious parenting coach. I'm an author of the book Dhyana Matrutvam and I'm a trainer for Prahlad Dhruva program. It's a kids meditation program uh, and self-empowerment program. I use it to teach kids meditation and life science through that program. And this is my uh, short and sweet introduction. So today I'm going to share one of my favorite topic about water. So <clears throat> we are the part of this nature. And this nature is filled with five elements. And one of the important element is water. So today I want to tell, tell and share my knowledge, whatever I came to know after coming to meditation with you. Okay, let me share my PPT. Yes. So, Welcome to this topic, my dear friends, water. And before going to start this, my heartfelt tributes to Brahmarshi Pitamaha Patriji, who bring this awareness and spread this awareness to this entire world with lots of effort and unconditional love. Thank you, Guruji. And going forward, I'm starting going to this topic. And today I choose the topic water. It's not a planned session, so I will do my best, okay? So after coming to meditation, we listen a lot, right? Uh, like uh, I, our thoughts have power, whatever you feel that will create in your life <clears throat> and laugh, karma, laugh, attraction, so many things. But by listening to all these things, I always have a doubt in my mind, how a non-physical things effort everything. If I think something in my mind, if I feel something, in my body, how this, how that thing will affect my life, how that thing will manifest some situations and uh, create my life according to that. I really didn't understand that. But when I came to know about this water and the water communication, how water react to, to our thoughts, all those pieces connected, got connected and I, I'm able to understand a clear picture about uh, how all these things working in our life, how our thought is working, how law of attraction is working, and how we are manifesting everything in our lives. So today I want to share that. So going forward about water. So my dear friends, water is one of the most important elements in our life. No work in our life will continue in a proper way without water. Am I right? Yes, everyone will agree that I'm right. Because imagine if you left, uh, you were running out of water in the middle of your brushing or bathing, in the middle of your cooking, or any uh, work you're doing, if you're running out of water, your life got freeze frozen. You don't know what to do. You do there is nothing to do, do with. We are not able to survive without water. For our daily basis of life to do all our works, we need water. Not only for our needs, 
in our body, in our nature, in our food. Water is an essential part. So, therefore, it is important to understand about water. So, let's do it. Understand about water. So, first, coming to our planet Earth. On Earth, there is 70%, about 70% of water and 30% of land. So, uh, may, I may say that we are living in an island in the Earth because everything is water around us. There is only 30% of Earth. So, 70% of water and 30% of land, it is more than the three times. So, coming to our human body, our human body also have up to 70% of water. Your blood contains water. Your brain contains 75% of water. And your heart, 79% of water. Your lungs, 80% of water. And bones, 22%. Liver, 72%. And muscles and kidneys, everything, whatever organ or body part you take, there is up to 70% of water. So just like a earth ratio, we, we created our human body into the same ratio, like 70% of water and 30% of matter. So if you food, take your food, all your food contain water. If you take vegetables, fruits, everything you have water. Maybe you, you may say, if I, take, if, you take, if I take some rice, dry fruits, there is no water in it. I can take that food. Yes, there is no water, but if you want to eat, and swallow anything, you have to mix that dry fruit with your water, saliva in your mouth. So without water, you are able to take any food. Food is a very essential part in our food. Water is a very essential part in our food. So without water, you are not able to drink or not able to uh, eat anything. So it's very important, part of our earth, part, part of plants, part of animals, part of food. So there is, everywhere is water. So it is important to understand how water reacting. So coming back to our thoughts, meditation is all about making your mind empty and may, releasing proper thoughts, intentions, and with uh, everything. So. Why our thought is important? Because our thought is impacting water. Your thought, your feeling is making change in your, in your in water. So water means in earth because 70% of water is earth. Water means your body because 70% of water is in your body. And water means in your food. 70% of your food is water. So your thought and your feeling making change in your uh, making change in water means making change in this earth, making change in your body. So how this uh, water changing according to our thought? And I will play one short video. So by this is the video about Dr. Masara Yamoto. He is a uh, he is a scient scientist from Russia. He did amazing uh, experiments in water by freezing it. He experimented in a special equipment and he able to capture how water reacting according to human feelings. So look at this video, my dear friends, then I will explain. Dr. Imato's laboratory does research on water samples which are subjected to various forms of outside influence. The impressions made upon the water are recorded by swiftly freezing it in a cryogenic chamber. This is what water heated in a microwave oven looks like. This is the effect of a mobile telephone. Somebody said, thank you to this water. Excuse me. disgust me. Let us see how this type of water affects human blood. The doctor is drawing blood from a patient's finger. 
using a special microscope, we shall be able to see the condition of her body from this drop. These are red blood cells and they've lost their electrical charge. So they're all stuck together in a formation called a rouleau. Here's a huge symplast. Symplasts are associated with heart disease and uh, arthritis and lung disease and many other conditions that could be coming in the future. The doctor asks the patient to drink a small amount of structurized water. After 12 minutes, the doctor again draws blood from the patient and studies it. So you can see that the cells then become buoyant, they become slippery, and they have their electrical charge, so they repel each other. That allows them to carry oxygen, and it means that we're changing the pH of the blood back to an aerobic environment rather than an anaerobic environment. I think that's utterly amazing. That, that a water could, that just drinking water could do that. So by watching this video, I realize a lot. Maybe you also realize a lot, I believe. Because if you see that, when you say, I love you to the water, the one beautiful crystal is forming there. When you say, you disgust me, that water become, uh, that water molecules inside become brown and ruined. So, according to your thought and your feelings, water will create change within, it, within itself. So, water is changing means you are changing because you are 70% of water, made out of 70% of water. And water is changing means this environment and the earth, the food is changing because all contains 70% of water, my dear friends. So, in this experiment, he... Uh, one doctor took some drop, drop of blood from her and they, they tested. So in that test, they came to know this, uh, the cells are, the blood, red blood cells are formed in a one form that will cause so many diseases. Those blood cells don't have any electro, um, that charge, electrical charge to flow. So of structurized water, what is structurized water, my dear friends? I'll explain you. Structurized water means if you say some positive word, feeling, if you send some positive feeling to, one, to the water, that water will create changes according to your thought. And that water structure herself, itself, with that qualities. That is structurized water. So doctor gave her a small sips of structurized water that is um, the healing power kind of thing. So after she drank that water, in 12 minutes, they took blood again and tested it. So you see with your own eyes, you saw with your own eyes, there is a lot of change in blood cells. The electrical charge, the blood cells regain this electrical charge and so much healthier atmosphere is com uh, coming in that result. So look at this friends, why you were thought water changing like anything in few minutes in your body. So that's why then I understand, oh, even though it is a non-physical thing, even though it is a mental feeling, my personal thing, it have a lot of impact. It is able to create, is it, or else it is able to destroy everything. Our feelings and thoughts are very important because they're making some change in water and water is everything. So coming to the next slide, I'll show another video to you, my friends. One minute, yes. In this experiment, Dr. Emoto's researchers used a glass of Tokyo tap water, which seems to be unable to form crystals and performed a test. Participants placed the glass in the center of their circle and sent gratitude to the water. Studying the water under the microscope, they started to see a crystal formation. Increased magnification showed the symmetry of the crystal. 
revealing how the tap water was transformed by the gratitude sent by the group. The crystal continued to grow, expressing the energies received. The tap water from Tokyo finally produced a beautiful crystal. It was interesting to see children so completely astonished after they witnessed the difference in Tokyo tap water, before and after they sent the prayer. Their mothers were kind of skeptical before this experiment. But afterwards, they said, we really have to believe it. This is a wonderful experiment, my dear friends. Uh, before I mentioned that he is from Russia, no, sorry, he is from Japan. And excuse me about that. So in this experiment, <clears throat> they took some Tokyo, Tokyo tap water. The Tokyo tap water is unable to form crystals with one single uh, person uh, sending uh, <clears throat> energy or feelings. So because it, it that tap water, maybe the surroundings and everything is so much of negativity from years together, um, the water in some negative conditions or something like that, it's not able to form any positive crystal in it. So Dr. Masara Emoto did an experiment that he make a circle with lots of kids around that water and they send one gratitude, thank you energy to the water. My dear friends, ev everything is energy. Your word is energy. Our physical body itself energy, it's looking like a matter, but it is energy. So do you know what is the highest energy and most positive energy in this universe is gratitude. So what they did is the kids together as a group send gratitude energy to the, to the water. Then the water came out of all those negativity from years together and it beautifully formed a gratitude crystal in that manifest and that water uh, turn into a positive thing. So that's why my dear friends, group energies are really wonderful. We highly recommend group meditations and participate in uh, sajjana, uh, group, group discussion about spiritual topics, which is Sajjan Sangatya and reading books from masters. That This is the one of the great platform for uh, Swadhyaya, digital Swadhyaya, great masters sharing their wisdom about so many books. By listening to those wisdom and by participating in group meditations, even though we have so much of negativity within us, we are able to change all those things with the group and group energy and practicing gratitude, my dear friends. If you want to change in your life, if you want to come out of your physical, mental, or emotional, intellectual illnesses, do one thing, practice gratitude. Say thank you to yourself. Say thank you to water before you drink. Say thank you to your food, water, and gratitude and thankfulness is a most positive energy you can um, create. So by sending those group, uh, uh, the gratitude energy as a group, the Tokyo Top Water formed a beautiful crystal. So no matter how negative situations are, how negative your health conditions are, if you do meditation and turn yourself and change yourself into criticizing, criticizing to gratitude and from blaming to uh, gratefulness, being grateful. So you're able to change all your situations and meditation will help you a lot to change your mindset because it is exercising mind. If you, if you wa body want, if your body didn't listen to you, what do you need to do? You have to exercise. For example, I want to climb up a mountain Without any exercise, if I sleep like that in, a, in my home, I don't do any exercise, any physical work. And one day I want to climb up a mountain. How do I, it's possible? I need to do little, little exercise and I, I have to make myself strong. Then I, my body listen to me and I'm able to climb up mountains. Just like that, you leave your mind like anything you mingle with so many gossiping, you participated in gossiping, negative thinking, fears, some ignorance patterns with all those things you want uh, healing immediately. How it how it's possible, my dear friends? If you want a healing, if you want a personal transmission, 
trans transformation, you have to exercise your brain. And meditation is the wonderful exercise to your brain. You're making your mind empty and absorbing breathing. And again, you some thought will come. Again, you make your brain and mind empty and concentrate on your breathing. By doing this practice again and again, you exercise your mind. And then your mind will, able, will listen to you. You're able to make the uh, thoughts and you're able to release the emotions, whatever you want to. So you're able to practice gratitude by doing meditation, by practicing meditation. You're able to change your mindset. So change your situation, change your health, health condition, your relationship, everything by exercising your mind. And meditation is the way to exercise your mind and control, taking control over it, okay? Come, coming to next video. This is one of the beautiful video how our emotions will change, make change in things. I'm playing this one. Okay, rice experiment. Actually, maybe this should be called the consciousness experiment because that's what this is about. Okay, so obviously these are just uh, little glass jars with lids all washed up. And then here is some cooked rice. Not much, because the rest of it is in my tummy. Now, uh, this is going in here. One spoonful in there. There they go, two little glass containers of rice. Love and hate. So I'm going to take the love, we'll stick this one. Should we stick it across the top? There, like that, look. Love, hate. Every day for the next month. I'm going to love this rice, send it some love. Just think love. And with this rice, I'm going to think hate, horrid, hate it, evil rice. That's going to be the only difference between these two identical containers of rice, apart from the word and the intention. Day three, fennel seed. Still fine. The love rice. Still completely fine. As is the hate rice. Nothing to report. No changes. Still no change. Day four. See you tomorrow. Okay, so this is day five. And I think you can see on the hate rice, blue mold. Uh, you can see that it's started to mold day five. Day six, and you can see the mold grow in there on the hate rice. Look at that. Day seven, day eight. Day nine, the effects of thought on reality. The difference between these two pieces of rice, now that one has got bad negative energy going to it, and one's got love, good energy. The impact of consciousness on reality. Day 10. Day 11, so this is day 13. I dropped this little jam jar of rice, but I think you can see that's gone really bad. It's gone disgustingly bad. Liquid on the bottom. And there's this rice. This, honestly, still looks good enough to eat. 13 days of love and 13 days of negative energies. If this is what happens to a rice, what happens to you? 
when you have good or bad thoughts? So my dear friends, that's how our thought, our feelings will impact the matter and our surroundings and our body. If you hate yourself, if you don't accept yourself, criticize, self-criticizing, low self-esteem, we all have so many negative thoughts in our brain. Because we are all a part, we are all part of the great consciousness and group consciousness, this great group consciousness. So what happened? Most of the society, people are operating themselves with fear and hatred. So as part of this group consciousness, we are all so tuned to, the, tuned to that way. But to come out of that, making a difference in your life, one must need to do meditation. That is the only way to be aware what kind of thoughts we are having in our mind. Most of the times, my dear friends, we are not aware what we are thinking, what kind of feelings we are, we are holding. We just live with lack of awareness and creating everything with our own hands against to our lives. So be aware and come, step, come out of that, step out of your own ignorance. Meditation is the only way to step out of that. So, so in this slide, if you look at into that, in, in average, we have 60,000 to 80,000 thoughts per day in average. Maybe some of us have a little less and some of us more than this, but it's an average. So 80,000 to 60,000 to 80,000 thoughts. Are you aware of any 5,000 thoughts? Even 2,000 thoughts, what you're thinking? No, we are not aware that our mind is continue chattering inside. We have to stop that chattering. We are the master of our mind. Our mind is not master of ourselves. So to stop that chatter, to make a conscious decisions and positive energy create and a positive energy surrounding uh, with us and surrounded us is the way to change your thinking pattern. Only way is to change your thinking pattern. Coming out of all your self-criticism, low self-esteem, ignorance, and negative opinions, fears. To achieve all these things, one must need to practice meditation. So these are the, some pictures of how what to react to the positive things. Look, when you say compassion, compassion energy will create crystal like this in the water. It says thank you, wisdom, trust, joy, love, eternal, harmony, hope, angel, soul. Look at these beautiful energies. Our every word is energy. What is your name? Just say your name, your name is energy. Know the meaning of your name and feel that. You will get that quality sitting you. That's what so many spiritual masters and yogis said. And in Bhagavad Gita, there is a famous saying, Yat bhavam tat bhavati. How do we how do you feel? According to, according to that, you will create your reality. You create your own reality. So all those spiritual truths, whatever I know through books and by listening to the great master, everything related with this concept. And this gave a clear picture how we are creating our reality. So look at this. This is the thank you crystal. And this is the brown picture is the, uh, when you send some hatred energy, like you make me sick, disgusting kind of thing, water will become like this. Love and appreciation, two crystals uh, combine together and create one rich crystal here. And look, water molecule before and after prayer. Prayer means, my dear friends, saying positive affirmations and sending some love energy to the water. Before, water is like this. But when you say some uh, positive affirmations, and when you send some positive energy uh, to the, the feeling to the water, that water will create a beautiful crystal transformed into a positive energy. So maybe your situation is like this now, but no, no worries. If you practice gratitude, love, happiness, and meditation, being aware of your thoughts, 
you are able to change your life, your health, your relationships, and your financial situations, everything. So this is the variation about the imprints and effect of our water surroundings. Here is the water without any <coughs> particular uh, process, they leave water with some buddhic chanting like positive affirmations and love energy, positive energy music for 24 hours. That water slowly, 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 slowly change into a beautiful crystal in 24 hours. That's why if you're feeling low or if you're sick or anything like that, just listen to one positive energy music. Enjoy that music. Listening to that music itself make a lot of change. So each and every feeling of ourselves make a change within us and with our surroundings. Not only yourself, your surroundings, because everything is water, right? So we have to be aware. It's very important to be aware and choose your thoughts and feelings consciously because they make a change. Meditation is a wonderful tool to be aware and change your thought patterns. So shall we do meditate for 10 minutes? Please. Collapse your fingers, cross your foot, relax your shoulders and back. Make yourself comfortable and feel your body, your warmness and the feel the water inside of your body. So be grateful to your body. Your body is a wonderful tool and one supreme, superb mission. Now, after making yourself comfortable with the posture, bring your awareness into your breath. Normal, normal, natural, easy, soft flow of your breathing. I'll play some video. Be with your breath, my dear friends, for 10 more minutes. scientific prayer or affirmations are the home enabling you to get what you really want in life you desire a happier fuller and richer life so begin to use these miracle working affirmations and smooth your way in daily affairs solve business problems and bring harmony in family relationships begin your day today anew powerful. I am love. I am letting go. I am accepting of who I am. I am safe. I am honoring myself and others. I am freedom. I am connected to Mother Earth. I am worthy. I am magnificence. 
I am loving all that I am. I am creating the life of my dreams. I am loving all that you are. I am a part of the greater whole. I am aligned with my inner power. I am wellness. I am abundance. I am appreciative of all that I have. I am happy. I am healthy. I am at one with all that is. I am in the flow of life. I am here to grow and expand. I am supportive of life. joyous being of light. I am well-being. I am gratitude. I am all that is. I am healing. I am loving. I am honoring my higher self. I am soul. I am truth. accepting of change. I am life force beyond belief. I am light. I am allowing. I am loved by universal source. to learn. I am co-creating a universe of magnificence. I am comfortable. I am choosing my life moment by moment. I am life itself. I am connected to everything that is. I am grateful. I am powerful. I am love. I am letting go. I am accepting of who I am. I am safe. I am honoring myself and others. I am confident. I am freedom. I am connected to Mother Earth. worthy. I am magnificence. 
I am loving all that I am. I am creating the life of my dreams. I am loving all that you are. I am a part of the greater whole. I am aligned with my inner power. I am wellness. I am abundance. I am appreciative of all that I have. Two more minutes. Be with your breath, my dear friends. I am happy. I accept and allow. I every am healthy. To I am at one with all that is. I am in the flow of life. I am here to grow and expand. I am supportive of life. I am a joyous being of light. I am well-being. Gratitude. I am all that is. I am healing. I am peaceful. I am loving. Feel each and every affirmation you are holding. I am honoring my higher self. I am soul. I am truth. I am accepting of change. life force beyond belief. I am light. I am allowing. I am loved by universal source. Be with your breath for 10 more seconds. Whenever you are ready to open your eyes, slowly take your hands up and open your eyes. So, wonderful meditation. Thank you, my dear friends. This is how we need to think. This is how we need to feel about ourselves. So that kind of change and that kind of creation, manifestation, will attract into our lives. We are worthy enough to receive anything. We are worthy enough to live healthy life. We are worthy enough to serve, serve to entire universe. But you have to believe in yourself and we have to understand what is really life science, what life science is. How to live, how to think, how to feel. These are very small, small basic things, but these small things are really big and give a great impact and bring a wonderful change into our life, my dear friends. So every day we deal with water. So my humble suggestion is whenever you drink water, 
grab that water into your hands and close your eyes and say thank you to that water. Send your gratitude energy. Say, I love you. For two, three seconds, you hold that water, then drink. When you, uh, you have your water filters back in your home, just put one pyramid on top of the water and put a post-it note on that water like, I love you. I always say to my water, whenever I uh, fill my water filter with water, I always use it to say, love, compassion, service, enlightenment, thank you. I, have, I use it to say those, those uh, words and that energy to my water. I use it to send that energy to my water every day, whenever I fill my water filter. And I always put a pyramid on top of my water. So by you doing these small, small tips, practicing these wonderful practices that will change and help you like anything to going forward and uplift yourself in your lives. So thank you so much. And I'm giving back to, uh, um, I don't know who is host, this is planned here. So over to who is there in the back and support. Thank you so much. Thank you. Today, yeah, uh, ma'am. Today is a great session uh, in the in 21 days session uh, program of uh, digital jhana swacha yoga. Uh, really, you have explained uh, how water and uh, food helps uh, in our life, ma'am. Because uh, 70 percent of uh, 70 percent contains water in our body and 30 percent food. But uh, how to treat water? I yeah, explained very uh, wonderfully. Uh, so, how affirmations were put like compassion, gratitude, love, whatnot, all of these things, how it will help uh, an individual to lead a peaceful, balanced, and equilibrium. Uh, it's a really a good session and wonderful session in a simple words and with uh, uh, presentations, uh, really, really helpful to all the Pinot Masters and uh, viewers, those who are uh, seeing this uh, session. Uh, to do and meditation also it's a wonderful uh, meditation session uh, with your uh, uh, guidance uh, guided uh, issues and uh, with all affirmations yeah almost i think uh, 100 affirmations we have heard so you put all those things there uh, while doing meditation definitely it will take to one to ignorance to enlightenment uh, that's what our Padri, guruji Padriji always tells uh, be with your breath. Breath is our guru. So if we observe our breath, everything is possible. Even you can. That's why always he compares our Peru masters as as high as the Everest mountain. So to reach that status, one should practice, practice, practice. Practice makes man perfect through meditation, swachhaya, and sajjan sangacha. Today is a great day in sajjan sangacha. Devi ma'am, really, uh, we have to thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Suresh Papakaru, because um, it, I love this uh, topic, uh, sir. Um, yeah. Because whenever we talk with your kids, um, because I'm uh, very interested in conscious parenting, so I love to teach kids. Whenever you say some words to your kids, like, oh, you're doing uh, not well, such a stupidity, stupidity that he, it is all these words will go into them and program their water those things will become their reality that's why each and every word is a very important our thought our feelings are very important yeah. thank you so much sir yeah we have we have to use our energy either by ne for negative thinking or for positive thinking when we use our energy let us uh, utilize it for the positive things then only we can do miraculous things uh, as uh, APJ Abdul Kalam, what is his uh, uh, childhood? Uh, we have already seen. He thought of, uh, he dreamt uh, he should become, he wanted to become a great scientist. Then he became a great scientist and a uh, uh, president of India, what that, the highest uh, cadre he occupied because of his uh, practice, practice, and uh, reading of Gita, Bhagavad Gita. Like Mahatma Gandhi also, same thing. Practice of meditation and uh, uh, reading of Bhagavad Gita. It helped. Uh, to get independence to the country of India. You only told two words, repeat India, to the Britishers. Then millions of people stood behind him. 
So Britishers, uh, they have no choice to give freedom to our country and left the country. That is the power of uh, meditation and reading of Bhagavad Gita every day. A sloka every day will definitely enlighten everybody. Thank you once again, Devi Ma'am. Thank you. Kiran? Yeah. Sir. I close the session. Wonderful session, ma'am. Thank you. Hey, ma'am, how are you facing this uh, COVID-19 in uh, New Jersey? And uh, nowadays, it is uh, it has disturbed all the human existence, um, yes. socially, economically, politically, whatnot, in every area. <laughs> now, how is how is the situation? Uh, what what is your suggestion? What is your suggestion? Uh, I don't know about the entire world, sir. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, every, we are facing the same situation. Yeah, same situation. But personally, myself, I am really good. And my okay. only question is about Corona. Sir, thank you for asking me, bringing this question uh, up to me. Corona is not for only, only one or a such kind of people who, are, who, is, who are is ignorant kind of stuff, sir. It, this, it is for everyone, each and every uh, human being. I, I'll give you one example, sir, to understand this. Uh, if you buy a, a house, you plan like anything. Uh, what is the uh, area of the house? How many rooms will be there? And is it uh, closer to the schools and market or not? If you want to give, the, give that to the rent, is that a right place? Are you able to get a um, good amount of the rent or not? And if you want to sell that in the future, uh, is it going to make good money or not? So we make so many plans according to our human brain. So if this universe bring one uh, transform, uh, bring one corona, so universe have very huge greater plan than us. With our human mind, we are thinking like uh, in a hundred ways. Our nature will think in a millions and, and trillions of ways. And corona has a each uh, corona has a lesson for each and every human being. Someone, they need to learn quit, quitting the non-vegetarian. Some, for someone, they need to learn spending time with family. And someone, they need to be in the state of fearless state because they have to go to the job in this, this corona, corona situation. So they have to uh, practice that fearless state. By facing that situation, they, they automatically gain that uh, capability uh, being in that fearless state. Even though 